guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Uh, so today is going to be a busy day. Actually this week's going to be a busy week. And the reason why for that is I have some good and some bad news. I don't know, it's mostly good, at least to me. Um, so basically I'm actually going to be selling the Subaru very, very soon. And um, I actually have to fix a couple things on it because it's been sitting for a while and the brakes are basically frozen. So I actually have to go back home, I'm just out now, went to get a coffee and whatever. I actually have to go home again and uh, see if I have enough like uh, WD-40, uh, brake lube, that kind of thing to make sure I can actually do the job properly. Somebody gave me a, what I would consider a reasonable offer. So we're just pretty much going to get rid of it. Um, honestly, I don't really have much need for it right now. And seeing as how I'm probably going to move to the US, it's going to be a pretty big move and there's really no point in having a second car here at the moment I don't know maybe I'll get something else in the future I honestly haven't really decided but to be real with you I just want to get it out of the way love the car but let's just leave it to somebody else now so I'm gonna go back home see exactly what it is that I'm missing to be able to finish this job I'll take you guys all along with me I don't know if you guys are into this kind of stuff but Personally, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with working on cars. Like, I know how to do it. Like, I know what I'm doing. Um, but it just takes away time from doing other important things. So, whatever. It, it's got to be done before the guy comes to pick up the car. It's, it, it wouldn't be fair if I said, hey, come, come and buy this car from me for X amount of money. But you can't even move it off the driveway. So, let's make sure we can uh, actually move the dang thing. And we have made it to the infamous Canadian Tire. So for those of you who have absolutely no idea what Canadian Tire is, Canadian Tire is kind of like the weirdest and most difficult store to explain because it sounds like a place that just sells tires, but it's not. It's actually kind of like a department store. Um, they have like auto, uh, hardware, all sorts of weird stuff. So um, I'm here obviously for the auto department because I need to get a few things to fix this car. Uh, there's some stuff a couple things that I probably already have, I just honestly can't find them, but they're so cheap that I might as well just buy new ones anyways. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, but yeah, let's get in there and get exactly what we need. All right, well, I got most of what I need, um, I guess, which is a rubber mallet. And just in case I need them, I have long nose pliers here, which I'm pretty sure that I actually already own. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them or not. If I do find them, maybe I'll probably just end up returning these, I don't know. But yeah, now I'm gonna go to Mitsubishi and uh, I actually need spark plugs for this piece of crap uh, because it's starting to misfire. So definitely gotta do a big tune up on this. And uh, yeah, let's head over to Mitsubishi. So I just went to uh, Mitsubishi to get spark plugs for this car and <laughs> I gave them like the ownership whatever they punched in the VIN number the guy tells me $35 a spark plug that is absolutely ridiculous just so you guys are like aware um, you can't always trust certain dealerships like with the Subaru they were charging me like 15 20 bucks a plug which is actually reasonable from a dealership like that's not bad but $35 for a basic spark plug like they're not made of gold. I don't understand why they charge $35. And then when you do a simple search online, you'll find them for $9 online. So you can clearly see the dealer's mark up there. Um, and to be honest, like they were all kind of like, they didn't know what the hell they were doing. Um, the guy was actually kind of rude, but anyways, I'm gonna go grab something to eat and head back home and start fixing the Subaru because it actually looks a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I'm glad in that case. Uh, We'll see when we get in there, but uh, hopefully this job is really, really simple to do because um, I don't want to have to spend too much time on it. All right, guys, so uh, I've already started actually working on the Subaru and uh, not bad, but definitely a mess because of the rust. So this is the problem that we had. Um, the actual piston was like stuck in there. So I had to pull the brake pads out, which wasn't so bad because it was really just a cover. You don't even actually have to take the whole caliper off like normally. Probably not a lot of you know even what the hell I'm talking about anyways, but we're gonna get this job done as quickly as possible just so I can move this car out of here. And uh, I do have something else planned for this vlog, so we'll get to that. Sorry for the loud ass garbage truck, but yeah, this is what I have to deal with today. Well, I managed to uh, fix the rear brakes. That was a real pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because it's so very particular. I've never actually worked on a set of brakes like that. 
it kind of seems easy, but at the same time, it's like, unless you put everything back in absolutely perfect, the next pin won't go in properly. So I had to kind of fiddle with it a couple of times here and there. But hopefully that solved the problem. Um, I did notice that one of the calipers, the pistons inside the calipers, which actually pushed the pads against the rotor, uh, was basically stuck. The other side was actually perfectly fine. Um, so hopefully that solves the problem. Maybe now I'll actually be able to move the car, um, which is basically the goal out of all of this. If I can't, then tomorrow I gotta do the frickin' front brakes, which sucks because the jack that I have doesn't actually fit under this car properly. I mean, I haven't tried it perfectly under the front, but I literally can't put it under the side. It won't pass uh, where the side skirt actually bolts onto the car, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, we'll see in a little bit. I'll boost the car because um, the battery's dead. And uh, basically see if we can move this hunk of crap and uh, get out of this driveway soon, hopefully. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now the next day. So we've run into a little bit of an issue here with this stupid car. <laughs> Basically last night um, after I finished, you know, working on the brakes, on the rear brakes anyways, um, we tried to move the car and it like would start to lurch, but I don't know. I don't know if there's the front brakes are seized, um, so that's actually what I'm going to do now. Uh, lift up the car, do basically exactly what I did on the back on the front brakes and hopefully this car moves because I need to get this thing off my driveway by Saturday. I'm a little bit pressed for time now um, because the guy does plan on coming Saturday afternoon and if I can't move this car on the driveway, I don't know how we're getting it out of here. So, wish me luck. Alright guys, so uh, we were successful in finally getting the brakes on the other car to work. We realized what the problem was. The e-brake on the inside of the rotor was actually seized where like the shoes are basically not allowing the uh, the actual wheel hub to spin. Um, we fixed it up, the car is now finally moving. Still a couple more things to do before um, this person comes to pick up this car this weekend. Uh, but other than that, after I finished up with that, I moved on to the other car, the Mitsubishi. Basically had to do the brakes on there. I know this has been like basically just like our car fixing vlog, which is so annoying. Um, honestly, I've been just so busy between editing and getting these vehicles ready to, to do everything that I gotta do. Uh, but this is all part of life, um, things that we need to do. This is something that I need to needed to sort out to uh, make my potential move here to the US. I am trying to, to sort that out, but it is bit by bit. I have to get out of the way before I can start moving forward. Now I'm gonna go for a little test drive to make sure the brakes because I put new brakes on the Mitsubishi, which was the goal. Um, we actually still have more things to fix on that car as well tomorrow, uh, which we will get to. There's just so much to do. Oh my God, why is everything car fixing related? So annoying. Anyways, I'm gonna go for that test drive, probably go to the store, grab something real quick, and, uh, and then come back, because then I got some more editing to do. And I also gotta finish cleaning this uh, Subaru and get it ready to go. Well, so far so good with the new brakes. Can't complain. Basically the reason why I even ended up changing them um, was because I noticed the last time we went to the States uh, we were driving and I was getting like a vibration, like a wicked vibration every time I would hit the brakes. So I kind of figured, I'm like, okay, I think it's time to use the, time to change the brakes. <laughs> um, so I have never really done anything yet on this car. I've been very fortunate with it. Um, very, very lucky. And yeah, I'm glad that was uh, basically what solves the issue. Uh, but now, of course, we're back on to the other shit that we gotta take care of. So on my way home, going to, uh, vacuum the Subaru I guess I really don't want to it's getting a little chilly tonight but uh, stuff's got to get done and then I probably got to edit one more video afterwards um, I uploaded the Kings Park video today which is great I can see you guys are really really enjoying it um, I was actually thinking of doing maybe some like review videos like reviewing um, some of the haunted explorers that we've actually done recently you guys let me know which ones you guys want me to do. I was thinking of maybe doing like a review of The Conjuring House. You guys, you guys tell me if you guys want me to do that. I'm already kind of thinking of doing it, but you guys let me know if you want me to do that one or maybe a different one. I don't know. We do so many of these haunted places. We always catch so many different things. Sometimes a lot, sometimes a little, sometimes it's somewhere in between. Um, and a lot of times we don't really talk about or try to figure out exactly what it is that we captured on camera and sometimes even going over it maybe we'll we'll catch something else I could go through some of your comments as well those are usually quite helpful anyways I am back home again um, so yeah back to work 
Sorry, where where are you calling from? From Canada Water Service. Oh, okay. What? How can I help you? Man of mom, man of mom speaking with. Uh, Joe. All right. Joe. Okay. Uh, your last name? Brandon. Brandon, right? Yes. Can you pray for me, your postal code? Uh, M3K... A7. M3K? M3K? A7. A7? Yes. A A7. No, 8A7. 8A7. Yes. Is it not correct? 8A8, eight, eight, as in 8, the number, and then A as in apple, and then 7. Oh, a, number 8, letter A, number 7, mm. is it correct? Correct. Can you verify me your uh, social insurance number, the last four digits? The last four digits? Yes, sir. Of your social insurance number. Zero one nine four. Okay. So you're speaking with Officer Irene Smith. My first name is Irene, and my last name is Smith. And here I have all your file in front of me and just so now just to make sure that I'm giving out the confidential details to the right person. So can you verify me your mailing address? Uh yeah, it's seventy-four. Seventy four. Seventy four. Seventy four. Seventy four. Seventy four. Maple View Crescent. Sorry? Seventy four. Uh, Maple View Crescent. Seventy four Maple View Crescent. Yes, Maple View. Maple like Maple Leaf. View? Yep, view. As in view, like I'm viewing something. How do you spell it? It's Maple or Maple View. M A P M A P E L V E W Crescent Maple View, all one word. Okay. Okay. It's seven four Maple View after that. Yeah. Crescent. Okay. Okay. So before Proceed further, let me inform you that this call is being federally recorded and monitored by three major federal agencies. Okay. Financial Crimes Unit, Bureau of Narcotics, Canadian Security Intelligence Service. Okay. Now the investigation started with a marshal from Canada Post Service coming from British Columbia to Quebec. The okay. Canadian border officers have scanned it for police clearance purpose and they found that there were some drug packets along with nine fake driver licenses from different provenance provenance. Also cash of ninety four thousand dollars inside the package. Okay, so what you're telling me is somebody Sent me a package with drugs? Is that what happened? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We conducted yeah, we conducted the bureau of narcotics and came to know that Canada Postal Service has received so many partial on the old name sending out package to different provinces over the year. And the investigation team investigated and forward then the details to us 
to prove that you are guilty on the basis of the evidence that we received. After the investigation, they have found few addresses which are linked with your name and identity. The address are in 2525-144 Street, Surrey, BC, v 3 v one JC Canadian. And the second address is 97913-3 Jerry East and Joy, QCH1J. Do you see three Canadians? So, do you know anything about this address? Uh, not really. I think, I think my brother lives at one of them. Okay. And if the I'm not mistaken. Team has, okay. So, the investigation team has recovered some financial documents, like, uh, like bank statements, mm -hmm. received of the transaction, debit card, check, and also recovered some documents which were related okay. to financial. Okay. Just uh, just give me give me a second. Sorry, I have another right. I have another important call coming through. Just just hold for me, please. Right now you are. Hello. Hello. So obviously that was a scammer. Um, they do this quite often here. I don't know if they do this other places, but they call pretending to be like. Canada Border Protection or the CRA and all sorts of crazy things and basically they're just trying to get money out of you and I would have kept going but unfortunately I was in queue to speak to uh, somebody at my bank regarding the, the car um, <laughs> so I, I unfortunately had to end that phone call and it said that the person hung up I'm pretty sure if they happen to be on the other line I'll continue because uh, it was pretty funny <laughs> What the hell? This is the Canada Border Protection calling me about something to do with a package full of drugs? Like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, a few updates. Man, my hair is like really messy today. Um, I haven't even had a chance to shower yet. It's been uh, pretty busy so far. So, um, one update. Uh, we fixed the Outlander. So far, looking pretty good. There was a little bit of a fuel leak um, just because there was like a spot on the tank that was rusted. Sealed it up last night, it was a little cold, so we let it sit overnight. Um, looks like it has cured and sealed up, thankfully. Don't need a new tank yet. Um, but, the other car. Uh, somebody actually just came and pretty much paid for it. They still have to pay for like the remainder of it. Still out on the driveway, he's actually going to come later on and uh, pick it up with a trailer. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been fun with the Subaru. It's kind of like... A part of my life story that's kind of ending. Um, believe it or not, that was actually my second car uh, before that I used to own a GMC Jimmy, which was a fun car, and then I ended up getting the Subaru um, just because certain circumstances had changed. Um, and then now circumstances have kind of changed again. Goals, in a way, have sort of changed. So that's why I'm like, you know what? Honestly, I really don't need the car. Like, I just need one that I can get around from point A to point B. Um, there's no point in having the sports car right now. Um, maybe something again in the future. Maybe something different. I don't know. Um, things always kind of change, obviously. Interests kind of change, and even with cars, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, like I said, um, I mean, one part of my life is kind of ending. Uh, but in a way, it's good financially because it frees up some money. Um, I am going to be working on hiring a uh, an editor, actually, part-time because I do need some help. I'm always so busy trying to edit these videos. And the truth is, too, that I want to bring up the quality a lot more. And I also have a lot of other important things that I need to do. And sometimes trying to film, drive, travel, edit do everything by yourself is really really difficult um, which is why I wanted to bring on some help obviously somebody that's good um, somebody that used to work for me actually his name is uh, Steve you guys will probably meet him in a future video um, I'm gonna actually put a, a series together with him and somebody else as well and he's gonna do a lot of helping I guess you could say with that so I'm really glad to uh, have him on board just part-time for now we'll see if uh, things change in the future and uh, yeah, um, but as far as the car goes, uh, the guy's gonna come pick it up in a few hours and then we will say bye. <laughs> so it's a, it's a little bit sad because like, 
that I, I feel like that car became like a part of me, a part of my character. Um, but at the end of the day, we have to remember it's just a car, it's just material objects. Um, I'm pretty focused on my career and obviously making a few important changes in my life and the car is just not that important right now, to be honest with you. Like I said, I just need one that gets me around. The Mitsubishi does that for now, um, at least for another year, maybe two years, I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll show you guys, I'll bring you guys outside afterwards uh, before the guy comes to pick it up or as he's picking it up, whatever. And uh, we can just say goodbye to it forever, I guess. <laughs> All right guys, well, this is the last time we're gonna see this Subaru here. It is unfortunate, it was was my baby, but uh, it's time to let her go. You've been good to me, car. You've been good to me. 